Do you ever feel like you're stuck in a financial rut? Is your paycheck gone before you even have a chance to enjoy it? You're not alone. Millions of people are trapped in the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to make ends meet. It's stressful, frustrating, and it can feel like there's no way out. But what if I told you there's a simple, effective way to break free from this cycle and achieve financial freedom? The 70-20-10 rule is a powerful budgeting strategy that can help you regain control of your finances and unlock the door to financial freedom. It's not about depriving yourself or living on a shoestring budget. Instead, it's about making conscious choices with your money, prioritizing your financial goals, and building a secure future for yourself and your loved ones. Are you ready to take charge of your money and start living life on your own terms? Before we dive into the specifics of the 70-20-10 rule, let's talk about the foundation of any successful financial plan budgeting. A budget isn't about restricting your spending, it's about giving yourself permission to spend on the things that truly matter to you. It's about understanding where your money is going, identifying areas where you can save, and making intentional choices that align with your financial goals. Think of it as a roadmap that guides you towards financial freedom. The 70-20-10 rule is elegantly simple. It's a straightforward approach to managing your finances that anyone can follow, regardless of their income level or financial expertise. It's all about dividing your after-tax income into three categories, making it easier to allocate your money efficiently and effectively. 70% for living expenses. This is the largest portion of your income and is dedicated to covering your essential needs. This covers your essential needs like rent or mortgage payments, groceries, utilities, transportation, and debt payments. These are the non-negotiable expenses that you need to live day to day. It's about living comfortably within your means. By keeping your living expenses within this 70% limit, you ensure that you are not overspending and can maintain a balanced budget. 20% for savings and debt repayment. This portion is crucial for your financial health and future security. This chunk is for building a safety net for unexpected expenses, such as medical emergencies or urgent car repairs. Having an emergency fund can prevent you from falling into debt when life throws you a curveball. It's also for saving for significant life goals, like a down payment on a house, which requires disciplined saving over time. Additionally, this 20% can be used for paying off high-interest debt like credit cards, which can otherwise accumulate and become a financial burden. And don't forget investing in your future. This could mean contributing to retirement accounts or other long-term investment plans. 10% for investments. This final portion is dedicated to growing your wealth over the long term through various investment vehicles. This portion is dedicated to growing your wealth over the long term through investments like stocks, which can offer high returns but come with higher risks, bonds, which are generally safer and provide steady returns, and mutual funds, which offer diversification and professional management. By investing wisely, you can build a robust financial portfolio that supports your long-term goals. The 70-20-10 rule is not just a budgeting method, it's a lifestyle choice that promotes financial stability and growth. By adhering to this rule, you can ensure that you are living within your means, saving for the future, and investing wisely. It's a balanced approach that can lead to financial freedom and peace of mind. 70-20-10 versus 50-30-20 Which path will you choose? You might have heard of the 50-30-20 rule where 50% goes to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. While it's a good starting point, the 70-20-10 rule emphasizes faster debt repayment and investing more for your future. It acknowledges that true financial freedom comes from growing your wealth, not just managing expenses. The Power of 10% Investing Your Way to a Brighter Future this section is all about understanding how a small, consistent investment can lead to substantial financial growth over time. Now let's talk about the magic of the 10% investment portion. This strategy involves setting aside just 10% of your income for investments. It might seem like a small amount, but the key is consistency and time. It might seem small, but over time, this consistent investment can snowball into significant wealth. The principle of compound interest means that your money earns returns, and then those returns earn returns, creating a snowball effect. Imagine investing $500 per month. This might require some budgeting and discipline, but the rewards are worth it, which grows at an average annual return of 7%.
This rate is based on historical data from the stock market, which has shown an average return of around 7% per year over the long term. Historically, the stock market's average. While there are ups and downs, the overall trend has been positive, making it a reliable option for long-term growth. In 30 years, you'd have over $650,000. This is the result of consistent investing and the power of compound interest working together. That's the power of compound interest working its magic. By starting early and being consistent, you can achieve financial security and even wealth. Remember, the key is to start now and stay committed to your investment plan. Sarah's story, from drowning in debt to financial freedom. Meet Sarah, a single mom who was drowning in credit card debt. She felt hopeless, but then she discovered the 70-20-10 rule. By diligently following it, she paid off her debt in three years and started investing. Today she's debt-free, owns her dream home and is financially secure, all thanks to the power of consistent saving and investing. Mastering the 70-20-10 Rule Practical Tips for Success This rule is a simple yet powerful guideline for managing your finances effectively. It suggests that you allocate 70% of your income to living expenses, 20% to savings, and 10% to debt repayment or investments. By following this rule, you can ensure a balanced approach to your financial health. Implementing the 70-20-10 rule successfully requires a few key steps. First, track your spending. This is the foundation of any good financial plan. Without knowing where your money is going, it's impossible to make informed decisions about your budget. Use budgeting apps, spreadsheets, or good old-fashioned pen and paper to understand where your money is going. There are many tools available that can help you categorize your expenses and identify patterns in your spending. This step is crucial because it provides a clear picture of your financial habits. Second, identify areas to cut back. Once you have a clear understanding of your spending, look for expenses you can reduce or eliminate. This might include dining out less frequently, canceling unused subscriptions or finding more affordable alternatives for certain services. Look for expenses you can reduce or eliminate to free up more cash for savings and investments. Every dollar you save can be redirected towards your financial goals, whether that's building an emergency fund, saving for a down payment on a house, or investing for retirement. Third, automate your savings and investments. Automation is a powerful tool because it removes the temptation to spend money that should be saved. Set up automatic transfers to your savings and investment accounts so you're consistently building your financial future without having to think about it. Set up automatic transfers to your savings and investment accounts so you're consistently building your financial future. This ensures that your savings grow steadily over time and you can take advantage of compound interest, which can significantly boost your wealth in the long run. And finally, review and adjust regularly. Your financial situation and goals will change over time, so it's important to revisit your budget and make adjustments as needed. This might involve increasing your savings rate, reallocating your investments, or adjusting your spending in response to life changes. Life changes, and so should your budget. Regularly reviewing your budget ensures that it remains aligned with your current financial situation and goals. This proactive approach helps you stay on track and make necessary adjustments before small issues become big problems. Review and adjust your budget every few months to ensure it still aligns with your goals. By staying engaged with your finances and making regular updates, you can maintain control over your financial future and continue to make progress towards your long-term objectives. Your journey to financial freedom starts today. The 70-20-10 rule isn't a magic bullet, but it's a powerful tool that can help you achieve financial freedom faster. It's about taking control of your finances, making conscious choices, and prioritizing your future. It's about living a life free from financial stress and having the resources to pursue your passions and dreams. Imagine this. What will your life be like with financial freedom? Close your eyes and imagine a life where you're not worried about money. Imagine having the freedom to pursue your passions, travel the world, spend quality time with loved ones, and retire comfortably. That's the power of financial freedom. Take control of your money and your future. Are you ready to unlock your financial potential and start living the life you deserve? The 70-20-10 rule is your roadmap to financial freedom. Take the first step today and start building a brighter future for yourself and your loved ones. Remember, financial freedom is within your reach. All it takes is a plan and the commitment to make it happen.